Hi everyone, my name is Peter. This is a video uh, in which, surprise, surprise, we are going to be doing some drawing. And this video is sponsored by Appeals. Normally, if we put this sticker on the refrigerator, we'd be in big trouble, wouldn't we? Yeah. But not anymore because it's clear that after we stick it, we can peel it off. There's no residue and we can reuse it over here on the sponsored side of the refrigerator. Stick it, remove it, reuse it. Before we get too far, I want to look at some cool things that some of you lovely viewers have sent in. For example, here is a cool Shungite necklace, which someone named Opal sent. Thank you. I'm not sure exactly what Shungite is, except that I know it's, um, it's very, it's a very pretty stone. It's got a, a lot of dimension to it. I think you're supposed to put it around the La Casa, little pyramids and stuff. I actually have been hanging this next to my bed while I sleep so that hopefully it absorbs all the harmful 5G radio waves and only leaves me with the good vibes from the YouTube comments at night to recharge me while I sleep. Got some cool stickers in here. World's best boss, a cool thing eating a thing. And to Mr. P Peter Draws. Oh, this is from Jasmine. She says she hasn't sent a letter in a rat's age. Uh, and here's some cool things that uh, she thinks I might enjoy. Very nice letter here. Thank you, Jasmine. Got some postcards, some sort of Hexagonal wooden box here. Oh, a cool notebook. I think it's mostly empty, but here in the front is a poem called The Pines. Nice little treat. I like this book. Oh, nice. Some more nice uh, postcards here. Uh, hot Dog Chef Extraordinaire style art. And then a book called Cloudburst, a handbook of rural skills and technology, which is very cool. And this, this is a good addition to my bookshelf for sure. Store your fruits and veggies, it says. Yeah, once again, great illustrations. I love this style of ink ink work. This looks like something to me that was drawn with a technical pen, like a rotring. Thank you very much for this package, these books, these selections you sent. I think this one I might have opened from the bottom. And as you might be able to tell, it is um, glitter and Christmas themed. This is a very nice, <laughs> a very nice um, note card here, even with some notes for Dan in it. Dan does not go forgotten in many of these. Uh, just a little drawing. Looks like here is a little treat for Dan. It says, for Dan, tiny little gift basket. <laughs> a little... In, in the note card it says, I hope Dan is a Star Wars fan. <gasps> oh, look. It's a little Yoda figurine to go in Dan's apartment. Very nice. Glitter is getting everywhere. Wow, Spectral Park, an album for my record player, an LP here. Thank you. It's very generous and kind. Although I do still feel like I'm getting glitter bombed in a very slight way. Here we have a book called Richard Browdigan's Trout Fishing in America. Well, it looks like there's some poems, short, short stories maybe, various writings and selections. Look at this. This is like a very old fashioned um, lead holder, I think. Am I, wait, am I taking it apart or extending? Look at that. It's like some sort of spiral mechanism. Oh, that, does this extend it? Is this lead? 
whatever it is. It's um, entirely metal and construction. I'm not sure how to extend it exactly, or if you're supposed to extend it, or will merit some studying of its own, some examination post video. Then finally, I think this is the last thing, and definitely the heaviest thing in here. <laughs> Do you see this? Is truly a classic item. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna have to buy a, a whole bunch of pencils just to sharpen them. Look at that. Now that's cool. Did anyone else spend a significant portion of their life going up to the a pencil sharpener like this mounted on the wall just so they'd have an excuse to get up and ju just over sharpening their pencil till it was down to a little stub and then they needed a new pencil and then they'd go sharpen it again and I feel like many pencils met their premature fate that way. A lot of mine did anyways. This is a very cool package. A lot of very cool things received today which I was very slow to open. This was all from Josh. So thank you, Josh. I really appreciate it. And the other stuff from Jasmine and my my Shungite from Opal. Thank you. Let's see if I can... I am covered in glitter, but it's completely worth it. Now to get into what we're doing today, this is what I'm going to show you how to make. This is uh, a custom appeals sticker I made. And uh, this is what I'm, I'm going to show you the, the making of, right? The behind the scenes, making of a custom iPhone appeals. So here's my phone. And uh, what happens is you take it like so, you take your appeals, you appeal, appeals it. And uh, it's not too scary because like I said, if you get it, crooked the first time, you've got multiple chances, which is one thing I really like about them. Nice. Just pop it right on there. These appeals work on almost every surface, provided it's not completely grimy and covered with dirt. Uh, you know, it makes sense. Uh, in fact, I have one of these, another one of these iPhone appeals right here on my water bottle. Obviously, that's not a design that I made. It's just one from their website. But another cool thing they have going on is that you can go on the Appeals website and make a creator account of your own, upload your designs, and have other people buy them and get a cut of those profits, which is cool. So you can monetize your own art that way. Now, just to protect it a little bit, I'm going to put one of these clear cases on the back of my phone, and I think it'll look even cooler. Look at that. My own art on the back of my phone. I don't actually know if I've had that before. It looks pretty sweet. Click the link in the description to go to the Appeals website where you can buy this design, a bunch of other designs I've uploaded. Also, we're going to be doing a giveaway for five free ones of these. Uh, not the not the phone itself, but the, uh, the iPhone Appeals right there, right there. If you want one of those, you're going to need to go to the link in the description and use the code word STICKY. All right? Code word STICKY. Give me a place to put that and you can win free appeals to put on your phone with my custom drawing on it. <sighs> yeah, hello? Yeah, it's me, Peter, talking on my custom, custom designed phone. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. I mean, I might just use this one as a background on my desk right now. And like I said, if I ever get tired of it, I can just pull it right back off again. Boom. So now let me show you the process of how I made one for the iPhone because you also can go make your own. Of course, I am gonna use the Peter Pen for this which is restocking soon, okay. So as you can see here, I drew my design on a iPhone outline I had printed out on some card stock. Uh, but if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna make your own design, upload it to a website, either just for yourself or to, or to sell it to other people, 
uh, I don't know if I'd actually recommend this. It's it gets a little hairy trying to make a, an exact shape like this because when there's printing, there's something called bleed, which means the design has to go actually a little bit beyond the edges of what's being printed. I mean, this even applies when you're doing things like printing, uh, like graphics and on pages and books and stuff like that. So, I would I would recommend just uh, drawing whatever you want to draw on like a regular piece of paper and then scanning it in uh, as high resolution as you can. And then with the Appeals website, you can upload it to a myriad of different products, not just phone stickers or, you know, you can have it on stickers for water bottles and bumper stickers and uh, laptops and iPads and stuff like that. So the reason I personally draw on this more exact iPhone outline is because I have this idea where over the next few months, I'm going to create a design on a few other products as well, like maybe a bumper sticker and um, a, a, a sticker for the back of a laptop and an iPad. And you might be thinking, Peter, I don't have this exact model or brand of iPhone 11 or that particular Samsung tablet or whatever. And that's fine. I don't have that Samsung tablet either, but I still want to make a design for it. And then once I have five of these designs finished, um, I'll show in the next video, I'll show you the layout. I'm going to make it so you can put them all on the wall next to each other in a specific way, and it'll create one big cohesive design, which I think will be kind of cool. It'll be kind of, it'll be a sort of mosaic wall art. And, and like I said, these are stickers that are safe to put on the wall, which I think is cool too, because I did actually get in big trouble when I was little for putting stickers on the wall. And then I peeled them off and half the sticker stayed stuck to the wall and half of it was in my hand. And I think I was grounded or something. But like I said, you'll, you'll be able to, um, I don't know, like Voltron, all five of the designs together, or I don't know if if you, if you don't get the Voltron reference, maybe a uh, Exodia, the Forbidden One. I was more into Yu-Gi-Oh when I was in middle school, even though my parents never never let me buy any of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Some of my friends gave me their duplicates, and then we would duel, but I would lose every time because I only had their duplicates. Um, or I guess if you're not into either of those things, it's kind of like a well-balanced uh, five-course meal, right? You have all the parts connected there. So that's why, that's that's my plan I've got going here. So next, next video you'll see me doing with one of these, I'm going to do a bumper sticker, which will be a different part of the design, and then it'll all start coming together. I'll show you what the layout is going to look like by using some of the blank stickers in the next video, all right? Also, some other news. Um... At the end of this video, I'm going to put a kind of, I don't, I don't like how the word cringe has been overused recently to describe almost anything that someone doesn't like, but I'm going to put a, like a little song that I made at the end of this video. I have this weird love, love, hate relationship with the, my music that I've been making recently, but I'm just going to put it at the end of this video and I don't actually look I know that by saying I don't want you to listen to it, and I know that by saying, like, down-talking my own music, it kind of seems like I'm fishing for compl compliments in a way. But mostly it's just because I know I just need to keep making songs in order to improve, but it's a little bit discouraging because I'm at that stage where I don't really like the songs I'm making. But also I want to put them out there, right? I want to show them... I, I feel like I owe it to myself to show them to the world, you know, like put them on SoundCloud and tack them on here at the end of a YouTube video or something, um, just because I spent so much time making them, even though I'm kind of at the point now where I, like the first half of the time I spend making it feels good, and then the second half of the time I spend making the song just kind of feels like me telling myself, okay, Peter, wrap it up, you're spending too much time on this, like, just, you know, I kind of like fizzle out creatively with the song and I'm just like just finish it anyways it's weird but I don't actually want you to listen to it I'm just I just need I just need to share it to fulfill some I don't know like desire in myself like there's something in me that likes share it, like posting my creations out to the world if that's not clear already you know I make I post things on Instagram I post YouTube videos <laughs> something about it I like
And of course, I like the part where people leave comments and say, oh, look, you're so, you know, I love your drawings and stuff like that. But also, I just like that feeling of, I don't know, like putting things out into the world, like creations that never existed before, even if uh, I know in the back of my mind that I don't think they're, um, you know, good, whatever good means in this sense. I don't think it's a good song I made. Um, you know, I had fun making it for some of the time. I don't know. I don't know if any of that makes any sense to you. Uh, I tried talking through it a little just now, but anyways, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally okay with the fact that I might need to make 10 or, or a hundred, hopefully not a thousand, but 10 or a hundred more songs, you know, before I really get to one of those songs where I'm like, yeah, this song I'm proud of this one is awesome and I want everyone to hear it right I'm totally I think I'm mentally prepared for that I don't think I'm mentally prepared for having to make a thousand more songs I hope I don't have to do that before I find before I make one that I'm really happy with um I think <laughs> if I have to make a thousand songs before I end up making one that I really like I maybe that means it wasn't meant to be I don't know I don't think that's being defeatist because, I mean, I'm ready to make 100. I don't know how many I've made so far. I've probably made 30 songs, if not if not 40. I don't know. Actually, I, I should probably see how many I've made. Not enough, though. Not enough. Anyways, I was pretty happy with how this drawing turned out, even just on its own merit, not as a sticker for an iPhone or for putting on your wall or on your water bottle or whatever. It's been a little... For some reason, it's been a little while since I did this more kind of slower, more careful type of drawing. I've really been into a quicker, more loose, sketchy type of drawing where I felt like I was kind of like screaming at and onto the paper. And this felt a little bit more slow and meditative like I used to draw, um, which kind of felt nice to go back to that. And I, I also wanted to see if the Peter Pen was good at that. And was capable of drawing in that in that manner, that fashion, and 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 it was capable. Also, some other news for me. Um, now that it, the weather has started getting warm again, it which has been really nice. Like I can actually go outside and start feeling like better instead of worse. Uh, that's been nice. But also, it, once in in the same weekend, I saw two dead cockroaches again, and those are. I don't like cockroaches. They make my, the, the, I, the, I start having this thing where I walk into a room and you know how you have floaters, you know, like maybe some little artifact of something in your eye moving out of the corner of your eye. Usually those don't bother me at all. But then once I start, start thinking about cockroaches in the back of my head, if I've ever seen a cockroach in my house dead or alive in the past week or so, my mind starts thinking and telling me that those floaters in my eyes are, are cockroaches on the wall or on the floor or anything moving or any speck of dust or little this or that on the floor, I, my mind starts second guessing and telling me, ooh, that might be a cockroach. And I start just being like less comfortable in my own home, which is a feeling I don't like. So thankfully, I think the exterminator is coming soon. I, I have a hard time remembering the word exterminator because I always only remember the word terminator I'm like wait they're not terminators are they we know they're they're exterminators but really th don't those two words mean the same thing to terminate and to exterminate what what's the difference between those two words I don't know I guess terminate just means to end and then exterminate more means to wipe out in a more holistic manner. I'm not sure. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Let me know if you have any questions about the um, appeals thing, about how to set your page up. I do feel um, pretty good about this sponsorship, this partnership. I'm happy to have it going. Um, once again, this is like another company that I have talk to on the phone like i've been on the phone with them exchanged a lot of emails and stuff so um, i'm trying to get more of those types of uh, sponsorships and and brand deals and stuff like that so that it's not just some um, soulless connection with you know someone who i don't even know or anything so i don't know i think it's better for everyone involved especially now that y'all can um, start uploading your own art maybe y'all can make a few bucks and 
you know, go enter that that giveaway. There's going to be more giveaways. And in the future, we're going to have some art competitions and stuff with cash prizes. So stay tuned for those in the future. It's going to be pretty cool. All right. So see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Let me know what type of videos y'all want more of also. I think I'm I think I'm gonna make some more of those, just some more like real time videos. I might try to upload. Should I like consider, con should I consider re uploading like videos like this in real time instead of sped up? Sometimes people ask for that. The main problem is I wouldn't have audio content for that whole time. It would be hours and hours, and I might just put silence for all that time. Um, or I don't know. I might just make different real time videos. I don't know. I, I overthink and second guess stuff a lot. Um, also I'm, I've got another, what I think about art video in the works that should be coming soon. Just various paintings and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. All right. Take it easy, everyone. I'm going to, I'm going to go. Deleterious, causing damage or harm, manufacture my arm. I'm a little scapula, I'm a little pinky, broken to a million pieces, wiggled like a slinky. So mysterious, weird and inexplicable. I'm hoping this is fixable. My arm is bending backwards. I'm gathering my body parts from piles on the ground. I'm looking for my deltoid, it's gotta be around. Alohemia. I got a package tail with a favorite nosonemia My toes are falling off one by one and I can feel them Tumble in my socks where I kick the smallpox and my legionella Back and forth, another retort My legs are too short to reach the bottom of my pant legs Revolving door chopped them off, now I got wooden pegs Spinters at night in the dark a million degrees Fahrenheit in the sharpness Stardust sprinkled on the crime scene Armless, I'm rolling in the glycine The fountain of youth in the bottle And you know that Aristotle Would have been the one at the throttle Drag racing with the last apostle Back and forth